I'm here at Stella Kaya Winery with the winemakers. My name is Nzehi Biela. I'm a winemaker for Stella Kaya Wines. Yes. I joined the company in 2004. Right. And the company has been running now for 10 years. And it's After Stella, Stella Kaya. Um, first, where, where are we located? We are in Stellenbosch. Yes. Um, actually, the winery, as you can see, is like five minutes from town. Yes. And our vineyards are on the other side uh, in the, of the valley. Yeah. And the name itself, actually, Stelica, means home of the stars. Stella home of the stars. Yes, yes, home of the stars. Yes. And you can even see that on the labels because each and every label is represented by a red giant sign, the constellation. Yes, yeah, like so the Sagittarius. Have, we have the yeah. Orion, we've yeah. got the Hercules, we've got the. Uh, the Scorpio, which is our Cabernet Sauvignon, mm -hmm. and the Cab, actually, which has been for the past since we've made the Cab, since we started in '99, our Cab has been getting four stars from John Plata. So the owner, Dave Leno, always call the Cab his four by four. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but you make a whole range of different wines. We we'll make a whole range of different wines, but they are all red. Yes. So we're only making red wines. So we have blends and we have straight varietals. Okay. And on the straight varietals we have Cabernet Sauvignon, we have Melo, we have got Shiraz. And then we have our blends where we have our Italian style blend, which is a Hercules, Sandro Melo and Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. And then we have a, a Bordeaux style blend, which is our Cab Melo and Cabernet Franc. Okay. And we have a Cape blend, that's our Melo Pinotage and Cabernet Sauvignon. Right. And then we have our Enflever, which is our Boschetto, which also is doing beautifully. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Shiraz, and Sangiovese. And if, uh, but my understanding, my interpretation of these wines is that they're quite elegant wines. It's not the full-bodied, very powerful wines, but it's more fruit and elegance. Yes, our focus we make we want to, we make a fruity styled wine. Yes. But some people they actually they misinterpret this thing of being fruity. They think it's yeah. just you know, it's a high quality. It's um, we just want the fruit to represent itself in the wine. Mm. We don't want to have the wine that when you taste the wine, you can't really get, you only taste the wood. Mm. The aim is to have the freshness mm. and the fruit be mm. prominent, but at the same not overpowering, have it in good mm. balance with the wine. And you, you've been here since 2004? 2004, 2004 yes. yes. Has, have you changed anything? If you, when you started uh, six years ago now, have you changed the way you work since then? Yeah, th there's always changes each and every year because it depends on what I'm getting from the vineyards and then whatever I'm going to do with the wine to actually get to a certain uh, kind of style of wine. Mm -hmm. So I, each and every year there's a, a little bit of a difference, but the style is always the same mm -hmm. and also the quality, we always improve the quality. Mm -hmm. Each and every year we're learning new things that I think to get to that level we need to change this so that we can get to uh, the next level. And how did it come about to start making wine? <laughs> it is, um, making wine for me was something that was actually not even part of my, of my mind or yeah. my thoughts yeah. because I didn't even know about it. Um, I was recruited uh, to start wine making and yeah. for me it was an opportunity. Yeah. So I, I took it. Yeah. Yeah. So I came to Stellenbosch and started something that I didn't know. And my first taste of wine, Yeah. Uh, my goodness, it was horrible. You didn't and like it? I didn't like it. Yeah. I was like, why would someone enjoy this? Until actually, as I learn, as I go ahead tasting the wine, because it has an acquired taste. That's a yeah. reality, and that's what it is. Yeah. But it is amazing. The more you get used to the wine, the understanding of it, you realize actually what this product is yeah. all about. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. So how, how did it work, out, actually, when we came to Stellenbosch? You uh, came you to come Stalin from Bush. other parts of South Africa? And yes, I'm coming from KwaZulu Natal, where yeah. uh, we only have in the rural actually I'm from the rural areas yes. of KwaZulu Natal. So um, we KwaZulu Natal is known for sugar cane and uh, bananas yeah. and other stuff, but no wine. We don't grow any grapes there. So when I came to Stalin to Stalin Bush, it was most going to the university, study winemaking, and then become a winemaker. That's why I actually like, didn't even know about it. That's yeah. why I didn't even know about it. So it was just that for me the opportunity was like I'm gonna be doing something that I don't know. So yeah. yeah. And you don't regret? Oh no, if I were to do something now to go back and do and choose a career, I'll choose the same. Yeah. At least I'll be making a choice. I'll say, I really wanna go there. Well, I'd say, as a wine drinker, wine consumer, I'm glad you came here to make wine because you make excellent wine, very nice and elegant, fresh wines. Thank you very much.
thank you for talking to us today. Thank, thank you. you. Stella Carmen. Thank you.